good Saturday morning to you guys. If I'm sounding a little crazy, it's because uh, <clears throat> the weather is trying to put me under something. It doesn't realize that they can't. I mean, it's, it's they're unable to make me um, feel worse, feel bad. But new to say, I'm gonna do my thing. Anyway, guys, uh, I know I always say I've been thinking because like, I always think who doesn't think, but um. I turned 39 this year, and uh, I start to realize a few things. One, well, 40s were around the corner, and uh, you never really, in your mind, feel old. You tell yourself that. It's like a facade. You know, you you want to be young, but you get older. It just happens. Your body doesn't. So I asked somebody who's a little bit older than I am. You think he's 43. I said, well, what's the difference? I was working out, and I said, what's the difference? What? do I have to look forward to in my 40s? Because, you know, everybody's different, but I still want to ask. And he goes, well, Ray, with me, the only difference is from my 30s to my 40s is uh, I have to stretch. And I thought about that for a minute, and I kept thinking about it. You have to stretch. So it's kind of like your mind. You have to stretch your mind. You have to stop thinking about how you work. See, in our minds... I, well, in my mind at least, I picture myself back in my 20s. I'm not that guy anymore. I'm not young. I'm not quick to do something stupid. I'm not quick to jump, you know, oh, this or that shiny thing or that girl or this, or that money or that. I'm not quick to do that because that's got me in trouble in the past. And you see, I've learned from mistakes. That's the difference. <clears throat> Make your mistakes when you're 20, 30s, early 30s. <clears throat> And then when you get to around 39, 40, 40 plus, you start realizing, and hopefully you do this earlier, um, you start realizing you got to make better choices. And see, people are so afraid of what that person will think or this person will think if they cut them off. Not me nor. You, you guys, stop worrying about what somebody else does. Because you know what? That other person is not going to pay your light bill. That part of the person is not going to... to uh, give you money to go on a trip, you know, whatever. She was cute. Um, the other people are not going to do those things for you, but they're not, they also, those other people don't also feel the pain like you're going to feel if you fail. Um, so, if you deal with that's life now. Now, also, if you compound the fact that we deal with multiple sclerosis on top of it, it's even worse. So, I'm not going to tell you, my MS friends, Remember this. You're still a person. You're still human. You're still going to have emotions. You're still going to feel bad. And sometimes you're going to feel worse because you're dealing not only with that one problem, the same thing, same part of life that somebody else might deal with. Now, they're going to take it different because they're different people. But you deal with it and a mess. So it compounds the situation. So uh, understand that. Give yourself a break. Look at yourself. Remember I said you gotta cut off the negative people, or the, there's some people gotta cut off and not gonna like it. Sometimes you gotta cut off yourself. You gotta, you gotta deny yourself. Okay. You gotta do that. You got you. You have to sit back, sit down one day, take no longer, but take 15 minutes. Think about the things that you need to change and change. Here's a good point. Write it down. All things that you wish that you can change. And then every day, put it up on your bathroom mirror or a mirror in your bedroom, wherever, and check off what you're going to change that day and make it a daily thing. That's a good resolution. Okay? All the negative things you find in your life that you want to change, like uh, you're going to actually do some research and find out how a Muslim thinks or somebody who's atheist. Or, or somebody who uh, hates puppies. I don't know. Or does not like cheesecake. Now, see, those are the kind of people that I just cut off. You don't like cheesecake? Gotta go. Or, you know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a joke. But just do that. Put post, Write it down. Post it up so you can see it every day. So every day when you look in the mirror, you're seeing that list. And you're seeing what that day you need to work on. And write dates next to it. Each date, they, they, they section, write a date. The today, you know, like 
one today's what one ten. One ten of two sixteen. I found out about this or that or that, whatever. Do that. Same thing with exercising. The same thing with being positive. Same thing with eating right. Do that. There's really funny. We see a, a, a little like post or meme or whatever you call it on Facebook about the worst thing uh, or the best, the worst thing I ever did to myself or whatever it is. I can't remember. It. Um, it's right. It's, it's thinking I can remember that without writing it down. Write it down, people. Write it down. Make it your goal. If you're bad at writing things down, write that down. Then do like I do. I tell like my roommate Jackie Joy. I tell her to remind me when I'm doing something, and she'll remind me because she don't remember. She don't forget nothing. That girl don't remember forget nothing. Nothing. So uh, write it down. Then tell somebody to keep you on. Keep you honest. And do your best to stick to it. It's going to be hard. Nothing we do is easy. Nothing. But that's life. So uh, remember, write it down. Remember, tell yourself you love yourself. Do a like a video thing and look. Because I'm looking at myself. Every time I talk to you guys, I'm actually talking to myself. It's funny because I'm looking at myself. And I'm like, oh crap. I have to, t- I have to do that too. So do that, guys. Take it easy. No more MS, depression, or prison. We love you. Um, RamonHeronGarcia.com. My books, No More Miss Depression, 101, 102, 103 will be out real soon. And um, I'm coming out to Seattle in in, uh, California uh, within the next few weeks. So hope to see some of you guys. Love you. Take care.